なんだ許さない。What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video. And today we are doing another King Cluster figure, the second figure in this Ichibancho set of the Omnibus versus Z um, of uh, Masterly's figures. But again, this is a King Cluster, not a Masterly's. I, I, uh, I used to do videos calling these, King, um, these Masterly's figures, but they're actually King Clusters. But anyways, it is the full power Super Saiyan Broly from Dragon Ball Super Broly. Um, so it is a big box, as you can see, um, super massive, much like my Dark Broly video that I recently did. You can go check that out in the card above, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty excited for this. Um, I am very curious to see if it's going to be any different than my Ultimate Variations King Cluster Broly or the original King Cluster Broly, which I think is from like uh, the 30th film anniversary. I think that's what it was. I'm not entirely sure. Um, you can correct me in the comments below. But um, yeah, I want to check this out. As always, we'll take a look at the box, do some uh, comparisons after an overview, and then give our final thoughts and rating out of seven Dragon Balls. Another King Cluster for my collection. I've started to see why this line of figures has such widespread appeal. From their size and quality, they certainly are figures that have a huge presence. No pun intended. With hindsight, I don't really care for my original King Cluster Broly from the very first release because of his strange body proportions. Will this figure be a big winner or a giant loser for me? Let's find out. This figure is based on Broly from the Dragon Ball Super Broly film in his full power Super Saiyan form during his fight with Gogeta. I tried to ask many people in our collectors groups, which you can join via the links in the description, which pose this is from. Most people said things like he stubbed his toe and was yelling in pain, he was singing at the opera, and other funny jabs at my question. But I think the most accurate is probably when he's powering up and roaring in the battlefield during perhaps the climax of his battle with Gogeta as seen here. It's not exactly one to one, but it's probably the closest that we're going to get. While I love this new iteration of Broly even more than his DBZ version, I am starting to get tired of seeing full powered Super Saiyan forms of his. It would be great to get maybe a Master Lee's or Grandista of his base form when he begins his fight with Vegeta. This figure is made of PVC and ABS. He stands at a towering 12 inches tall.
This figure comes whole. He has no extra pieces other than his foot support in the box. Broly can stand without his foot support very comfortably. I actually missed his support while unboxing this initially. I'll probably keep mine on so I don't lose it, but it's not necessary. Like many King Cluster figures, the most notable thing is Broly's size. He will tower over many figures in most folks' collections. I'm surprised these can actually fit on my shelves. The sculpt of the figure is the best I've seen on a Broly yet. I think his body proportions are perfect. You can see the nice sculpt of his upper body that slims down to his waist. Plus, his head isn't too small with the rest of his body like the original King Cluster, which is why I dislike the original one a little bit. The paint application was also done perfectly. The shade of green is a perfect fit for his hair. Not too green, but not too pale and sickly, which again, was an issue I had with the original King Cluster. He is shaded almost all over from his body, hair, and pants from front to back. His armbands and Ba's ear aren't shaded, but the shading they did do was perfect. His likeness is also crafted with care because he looks exactly like his anime counterpart. His eyes have been outlined with nice bold lines to emphasize his look. Plus, his mouth doesn't look weird like some open mouth figures do. Definitely a work of art in my eyes. Overall, this is a perfect Broly figure and my favorite King Cluster release so far. Everything I've wanted out of a full power Broly is here from his size, craft, and detail. Not only is this my favorite King Cluster release so far, but he's my new favorite Broly figure. Don't miss out on this release. I'm giving this one a strong 7 out of 7 Dragon Balls. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Leave a like and subscribe for more content like this and check my description for where I bought this figure. I also have a Patreon that with just $1 a month you can support my channel and its weekly content. If you like more figure comparisons, please add my Instagram in the description and send me a message. Till next time, later.